This time on driveway finds, we get this 1971 K10 running. In like 15, 20 minutes tops. Less. Easy. So we bought this truck about two weeks ago, up in Reading, drove three hours, picked it up. Super excited. Um, I've been waiting about two years now to find a frame. Here it is. Now I can put my truck together. It should be going pretty quick. This 1971 K10 has been sitting since 1991. And in this video, we're going to show you the steps it takes to get a project running that's been sitting for that long. So now we'll be throwing in the battery and then going over all our electronics. Hopefully everything's wired up and the ignition system and the ignition switch and everything's working out. Hopefully the battery will hold in here. Hopefully it just doesn't fall down to the floor. This is a fuel system. Um, I've made two of these. This is Gen 2. This is made from like a Czechoslovakian water tank. Um, but the reason I like this one better than the first generation is it's small and it can fit under the hood, kind of where a battery would go or on the other side opposite the battery. So all it is is that and a little Walbro tank and some little clamps here and you have fresh clean fuel. That's one of the biggest issues with getting an engine running that's been sitting for a long time. So we're gonna pop this off. Oh wow, came right off. Um, I don't need a fuel filter because my can is fuel. Should we get Zeptai's involved in this equation? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm feeling like we don't need them. This is the on off switch for uh, the fuel system here. You basically just insert the wire, turn it on, and when you're like, oh no, it's overflowing. Done. All right, hit it, Dustin. We have fuel. I got it. Did they turn on? No. Your radio's on. Radio's on. Radio's on. So we have sign of power. Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, the ground sparked. Okay, hit it. Of course, Chevy starter. So, hold on a second. Yeah, the choke's on. Is this thing? Here, uh, you have fuel, so we can just test it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hit it, man. We'll know if the points are gonna work or not. We're gonna know right away. Watch the motor be locked up. It wasn't, we got it to spin freely. You did get it to spin. Starter's a piece. Bump it, like chunk, chunk. Ooh. Shred it. Let's um, move it here. The starter won't turn the engine over, and now we're gonna see if we can do it manually. The engine won't turn over because there's probably rust in multiple cylinders. Oh no, it's locked up. She seized. Second. Let's let's get a wrench on it. We don't know if it's like seized. These guys said you turned it over. We did. We did. It's not. No, it's not. It's okay, not. So what probably seized. happened? There's probably a rust line in one of the cylinders. We just found it. Or the flywheel has a big old flat spot in it. Yeah. And the teeth are ground down. That's, yeah. That's probably what it is. Or it's Shh, don't tell us, hey. The motor won't turn over with the starter, so now we're gonna get a breaker bar on it and try it with a little more leverage. Yeah, it just keeps tightening. I mean, I'll totally break the bolt if you want me to. Mm. No, don't, 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 don't. It's really locked up. Yeah, it's locked up, dude. Wow. We, we're gonna need to get a pry bar on the flex plate because the crank bolt can't take. You know, you know if, if another person got a pry bar and went back there. 
So we're trying to make the engine go this uh, way. Like, I'll go this way, then I'll give you the big pry bar. Oh, God. I don't know, man. That's, uh, that's really locked up there. Jose? What's going on, Jose? It's pretty locked up. Wow. We probably murdered the star. I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm getting out of there. He's putting. Oh, Jesus, smoke came off that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's no. locked up, guys. Damn, dude. Really? We're gonna break this fucking thing free. It's a mission now, Jose. Now we're running out of options and we're gonna have to bring in some of my secret sauce. So, um, kind of a go-to for me is diesel and ATF. So uh, mix it, you know, whatever. I know it's power steering fluids, same thing. Um, so, you know, you just put a little bit of that there. So you want the penetrating power of the ATF and you want to thin it with a diesel, so and then we'll pull it, pour it right down the carburetor, and then it'll soak down into the cylinders, and then it'll help us break this thing free. We'll see if this even works. With, you know what? Screw this stupid California can. You don't want to be shy. No, I need to open the damn throttle. Try to get it through all the barrels. So it dispenses equally? Yeah. It won't hurt anything. For sure. Oh man, look at the secondaries never open. Right, so here I gotta get the secondaries to crack. We could take Wadi. Even the secondaries in the carburetor were rusted shut. Which is good, now it's looking at all that lubricating diesel on there, help it. At least the brakes work. This thing will stop real fast. Try like kind of working it back and forth. Um, you know, like together. Like I'll be on the front, you'll be in the back. I'm just gonna put steady pressure on it. Can you get the smaller pry bar and like actually like pry? Isn't that what he's doing with the bay one? We have two people trying to break the motor free. We're even getting so desperate that we're trying to bring a ratchet strap into Okay, this. I guess the good thing about the ratchet strap is it'll have constant pressure. Yeah. Right? Like... <laughs> this fucker is locked. It's locked. That's why I'm saying we just go full theatrics. Oh, it did? Okay, I saw it. It did move a micro centimeter. That is a scientific term. Everybody's gotten to the point on a problem where you're just laying on the ground out of ideas. However, Brito had one more idea left. All right, hold on. I think I have a tool in my toolbox that's actually... We've tried everything, and um, I have this random tool that I got given like four or five years ago that I think is kind of going to work. Um, yeah, so uh, maybe it won't. Well, maybe if we can bolt it, all right, let's just try it. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. That sucks. We're at the point of realization we gotta get to extreme measures to try to break this loose. And uh, we're taking off the fan, the fan shroud. We're gonna try this. And then, um, if not, we're going to go to more extreme measures. Yeah, so this will work because it goes like this. Oh, wow. Water pump, you are a prick. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. That was my back. So I can use this foot. Oh. 
fell instantly. Keep <clears throat> popping off. I'll do that to me. <clears throat> it is so locked up. I'm breaking this free, Jose. Pry bar, pry bar feels shorter up here. I just don't want to hit you in the face. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna do it. Ah. Hit myself in the face. Here, just, just go. Oh, it's moved. Oh, stop, 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 stop. The pry bar is flexing like, whew. Okay, stop. I think the tools, like, I don't know, man. It always feels like it's moving, but it's not going anywhere. Did it move? No. Oh. I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, tell us what you're going to do. Just tell us. Tell us. No, you don't want the surprise. Wow. Okay. We want the surprise. I'm still banking on, like, we push this thing outside and hook a truck to that bar. What's the greater force? The truck. No. Bob. He just comes out with a jackhammer. So this is the first time I've ever had an engine seized. Very interesting. Kind of losing hope. One man with one sledgehammer could change the outcome of the whole night. Oh my god! Just as I was losing hope, it moved a lot. This is the most we've gotten the motor to move all night. Thank you, dead Cloverdale guy. What? Some dead guy, Cloverdale, gave this shit to me. Like before he died? No. Is it getting easier? Here, I gotta use my foot now. Hold on. Okay. Is it getting any easier? Uh, it's hard to tell when I'm hammering it. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> Wait, spin if I can do that shit again. Oh my do God. it again! Hey! Do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Yeah! <clears throat> yeah! Dude, wow. it's freaking free! Wow! I mean, I Kinda. Free. It's free. How do I feel? I feel like I'm really uh, anchoring this shit right now, to be honest. I feel good. Five minutes ago, I lost all hope in this operation. And you just restored it for me, Brita. Thank you, buddy. That's tight. Try it out, Jose. Do it again. Dude, dude. It got to the point. Uh, just go again. Oh yeah. Let us just suck in that diesel. Our patient has a heartbeat here. We got the motor to spin a little bit, and we're still working on it. The starter even spun it over, but now it's in a stuck spot again. No, no, it's not. It's going back and forth. Like, we're getting back She's and forth. She's going back and forth right now. All right, Jose. This is take three of stuck motor right here. This thing turn over, the best it's turned over. Now, little, hope is restored. I'm really feeling like Jose and I are gonna have that night, cold night air blowing through our hair with that sunroof. We're gonna be going down the road in this thing. <laughs> the sunroof. Just wait, we're gonna be going.
Well, Should we file the? We might need to file the points. Here, um, just do it again. Wow. <laughs> Let's file the points. Yeah, the points will need to get filed. This was already in the truck. We're going in. And now we're going to put it to use. It's actually a new cap. It's like someone tried to get it running, but they weren't us. Uh, and it's this <coughs> stupid style of points you can't really file because the uh, condenser's in the way. So literally just take them out. Locked up motors don't stop us. Clearly. Obviously. Obviously. This thing's spinning over like it's brand new. Points are two little contacts, and when they ground, they tell the coil to fire. When they're corroded, they don't work at all. We got them all cleaned up, and now we're ready to try again. Go for it. Give it some fuel, give it some fuel. Give it some fuel. Give it some fuel. Ready? Yeah. It's from the diesel. Jesus. Should we push it out? Um. Okay, we just got it to fire. Are you sure it's not on fire? Yeah, right? <laughs> bump it, bump it, bump it. This motor was seized. We were about to eat our leftover pizza and go home. But now we have fuel, we have spark, and we have a running engine with a ton of smoke in the shop. And seized secondaries. Seized secondaries, but we're gonna fix that too. Nothing seized will stop us. Those of you watching are wondering why I'm bashing the carburetor with a hammer. It's because the needle and seats which control the fuel level are stuck and causing it to overflow. It's totally flooding. It's flooding like crazy. It's the needle and seat. Sorry, quarter jet. We're trying everything we can, but this carburetor has seen better days. So we're gonna just go ahead and try to find another carburetor. Uh, we're gonna grab a known good carburetor off my other truck and uh, put it on here, because then it'll probably run. I don't think I have, do I have one right over here? Okay, so our goal was to get this thing running tonight. We pushed it off the trailer and we're gonna drive it back on. We would have gotten like a lot further if the engine wouldn't have been completely seized. Luckily I had some random like crank hub pry bar in the bottom of my toolbox I got years ago. We bolted it to it. 
hammered it back and forth. And now, yeah. Um, I mean, it took us a second to figure it out. We were trying all kinds of crazy things. We wanted to like hook a ratchet strap to the flex plate and like hook it up to my truck, honestly, because that would be hilarious. But after a hard fought battle, we were able to break it loose and after 31 years, we got it running and idling. Yeah, it runs with that random, uh, random carburetor that a guy just gave me out of the blue. Seems like it's kind of okay. So. We're honestly all shocked here that this thing ran. I mean, seriously, like, I'm not did shocked. not, okay. For a minute. Okay, for a minute. Honestly, a minute. did I ever lose hope? I don't think you did. I don't think we really lost hope, lost hope, but we were just kind of like getting close to being like, oh man, like a little bit of disappointment, right? We are on our way, but obviously none of us gave up. We kept pushing forward. Well, so I'm just gonna see if it goes into gear. Okay. Maybe just hook up the fuel system and let it run. This is the first time this truck has moved under its own power in over 30 years. Okay, we have one headlight. We beat the dimmer switch to within an inch of its life. Now we're good. Wow, they Got really that. went for it. Imagine this truck when it was brand new. Like blue with the white top, hubcaps. It's a nice truck. If you're watching thinking, man, that truck is loud, I can tell you, that's what my neighbors were telling me the next day. It was getting pretty late, so we had a change of plans. Instead, we decided to just drive the truck onto the trailer. Unfortunately, Brito couldn't see the way we were guiding him. Can I run over my fender? Yeah. yeah. Fender has been, I've run it over at least five times myself. And then other people have maybe run it over, but I've definitely done the worst, but this is. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's really only been you that's ran it over. Only this side. The other side's NOS. No, the other side is not NOS. And this is what my shop floor looks like after all that work. I think the new plan for the truck is now that it moves, get it to run a little bit better, fix the brakes, swap the cabs, put my truck together. And then at least it's mobile so I can move it around. Um, my plan, I still want to work on my 69 Camaro first uh, for the summer, yeah. but at least my K10 moves. This is definitely the first time for myself, I know you've done this before, and I guess this is the first time for you too, Jose, that we've broken an engine free. Now, I don't know if Brito has done it that quickly, like literally within the hour, break yeah. the engine free and get it running. It's like usually like you pour the... It's usually like you pour the Marble Mystery Oil, you know, diesel mix and you come back the next day and then it moves like a millimeter and you rock it back and forth. But this was like magic. This was magic. Yeah. Yeah. We got the seized engine truck running in one night. Honestly, it felt like, was it in one hour? Well, it's 10 o'clock now and... I'm talking, well, no, I'm talking about from the moment we found the engine was seized to when it was running was probably an hour. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I would say. Anyway, if it's been sitting forever, we like to get it running and driving. Oh, what the fuck just fell on me, dude? What the Is it crawling? No, it's just a wet piece of rock. <laughs> oh my god, that part is bad. Dude, that grossed me out. That creeped me out, because it was heavy. <laughs> It's the heavy and wet. Like some big ass cockroach was like <laughs> on my fucking head. <laughs>